Hey guys, so today um, I decided to do a drunk it yourself because I haven't done one of those in a hot minute. It's been a little while. Um, and the reason for that is because I briefly went on a drinking hiatus, well, a binge drinking hiatus. Uh, I took a little break from drinking excessively, just had like maybe a beer a night, a glass of wine a night, and so now I am back drinking excessively. <laughs> Yay! Today I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own cork board because I have a ton of these um, wine corks still sitting around from my Valentine's Day do-it-yourself picture um, and I just need to get rid of them and I thought that this would be something fun to do. So yeah, uh, I guess I'm going to go get drunk and show you guys how to do that. All right, you guys, I am back, and I have had some to drink, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not, like, drunk yet, not as drunk as I usually get in my videos. Once again, trying to quit the excessive drinking thing, because it's not good for your body, it takes a toll on you, it's just a lot of work, like, getting to that point, it's just a lot of work, so I will be drinking throughout this video, and hopefully maybe I'll get a little bit drunker. Okay, on to the DIY for the day. The things that you will need to make your DIY cork board will be, of course, corks, wine corks. Um, if you drink wine, you have these. If you don't drink wine, you can buy these from probably Michael's or Hobby Lobby for relatively pretty cheap. You will need some kind of frame with backing. Uh, I got this from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, so they have all kinds of different kinds so just any old frame will do uh, doesn't matter size if you want to make a big one make a big one if you don't then make a little one less work better the next thing that you're going to need is a glue gun with glue sticks I am hoping that this is not my only glue stick but once I get drunk I guess I'm gonna figure it out in order to cut your corks you will want very carefully you will want a serrated knife along with a cutting board or some kind of surface you can cut on without ruining your countertops. Tops. Countertops. Without ruining your countertops. And then, next step is, um, if you want, you can paint it. Um, so you will need paint, whatever colors you want to do. Uh, I chose this, like, pink and blue to kind of match the decor of my kitchen, because it's going in my kitchen. Um, but you can choose whatever colors you want, and you will also need a paintbrush and Mod Podge. Let's get started! God, sometimes I do things and I don't know why. I just... Anyway... Ah, I'm drinking $3 wine. You know when you can taste every dollar that's gone into a bottle of wine, and you can taste all three dollars that have gone into a bottle of wine, and they were like... The dollars that like came out of the like that someone found on the street that like like rat people have dropped like that's the, that's the three dollars that they used to make this wine. I'll drink it because that's who I am as a person, but I won't be happy about it. I will. I, I'm lying. I'll be happy about it. Getting started on the craft. So the first thing. God, what a mess. The first thing that you're going to want to do is take your serrated knife and your cutting board and cut your corks straight down the center so that they are cut in half. Um, and you want to cut them hot dog, not hamburger. So you put a little hot dog in there. And then what you do is you take your frame and you are going to place them inside your frame like so and just make one row so that you know how many you need across this way and then you're going to do it this way and then you just figure out how many you need to go across this way. So for an eight by 10 frame like this one, you are going to need about 24, I think that was right, 24 to like 27, let's say, just to be safe. Just buy a pack of 30. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is plug in your glue gun. Um, and now I just have to find a plug. Hang on. And then you wait for your glue gun to heat up, which is the fun part. 
because this is when we get to drink wine together and talk. I don't know what about though. How's your day? Uh, I don't know, I hate when that happens. I feel like I should have something really interesting to say in this part of the video, but I really, really don't. Because I really, with everything going on, with everyone on my Facebook being crazy, with all the crazy things happening in the world, I feel like I really just want to talk to you guys about how to be a decent person, but I just, I can't. I've talked about it so many times that I feel like I'm just repeating myself and not to mention that like a lot of people that I know are decent people so it's not like this message it's more like I'm preaching to the choir like I'm just yelling at people who are on the same side as me so I don't know it's kind of frustrating actually I wish I wish I knew less decent people so I could like inspire them and change their lives but no, nope, all you guys are pretty decent. It's ridiculous. How dare you be decent human beings, jerks. Um, still not. Don't use scissors when you're drunk. But as we know from previous videos, I am a professional. My glue gun gets this like big globby of glue because it's a cheapy old like two dollar glue gun so I always have to scrape the old glue out I think that might have done it so, so now you're going to take your glue gun and you're going to take your cork and you're just gonna Oh god. Just gonna put the glue on it on the back side here. Now you're gonna take your frame and you're just going to glue it shoop, right into place. Just hold it. And then you're going to do that for every single cork that you have all along your rows. So let's do that. And if you ever want to uh, guest star Please let me know because I do this a lot off camera. It would, might be nice to have, like, you know, a companion to do this with. Let's keep going with this uh, glue momentum I'm getting out of this glue gun. It really is shit. Like, like I wish that was a joke, but this glue gun really is just awful. And it makes crafts not even fun sometimes because you gotta freaking the trigger so hard that it actually starts to hurt your fingers a little bit. It's the price of DIYing. <laughs> just like that, your first row is done. So now you just continue doing the rest of your rows. Yay! <laughs> it's really repetitive, but like if you do this while you're sitting in front of the TV, like watching a show, it won't feel this like daunting. All right guys, so things are about to get real ghetto up in here because I ran out of glue sticks and now I have to use this, which isn't gonna work at all, but I want to finish this craft for you guys. So I'm using this, you should be using a glue gun. You probably have prepped for this or have glue guns on hand or glue sticks. Glue st have I been saying glue gun? Glue sticks on hand because you're a smart human being and I'm not. So I'm going to continue the rest of this craft by Elmer's gluing all of my uh, corks to my picture frame. So let's start with that, I guess. All right, so once your glue has dried and it looks like this, wow! Now you can decide to leave it like this, which I think that it actually looks kind of good like this or you can do what I'm about to do and paint it. Um, so all you need for that is some acrylic paint and then um, paintbrush, and then at the end, you are going to paint over it with Mod Podge. So I am going to go ahead and paint my cork board and I will show you guys when it's done. All right, you guys, and here it is. After you, I didn't do the Mod Podge yet, but after you do the Mod Podge um, to seal in the acrylic paint, 
you have yourself a beautiful cork board and yours probably looks a lot better than mine because I'm slightly tipsy. But um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you found this DIY helpful even a little bit. Um, and ooh, the cool thing about the Dollar Tree frames is that you have this thing on the back so if you want to just prop it up in your kitchen to just maybe like pin recipes or you can hang it up on your wall with these little guys here and that way you can put bigger things on it like um, posters or whatever you want to do, pictures. Um, it's just a really simple way to kind of upcycle things that you probably already own. Um, which is always a good idea because um, buying stuff and being consumerist, very controversial. So anyway, just um, let me know if you guys like this. Let me know if you want me to do uh, other do-it-yourself videos. My power is flickering because it's storming outside. Uh, I hope our power doesn't go out because it's hot as balls in our house. Um, and yeah, if you would like to um, come and be a part of my wonderful show every week, well, it kind of turned to every other week, but that's a different story, then just um, shoot me a Facebook message, because I always look for people to hang out and drink wine with and talk to and paint with and do whatever. We'll find something fun to do. So yeah, um, just let me know if you liked it, and I'll see you guys next week.